the question I want to know is what gave birth to the Al Qaeda movement? Okay, that that's what I want to know. What was the rage? What was the incident? What was the event? What was the hatred for Western civilization? I have my idea where I want to go with this, but I kind of want to hear it from you to see what you think caused this rage uh, that led to the Al Qaeda movement. Well, first of all, I'm sure you're familiar with this term in Islam, which is kafir, right? The infidels, you know. Um, when the Soviets invaded Afghanistan in um, 79, for people like Osama bin Laden, who are proponents of jihad and truly believe in the expansion of the religion as it's stated in the in the books having you know infidels and non especially non believers you know that you know communists are viewed even worse as christians or jewish because they have they're atheists so having you know these people try to invade a muslim territory was something that was you know had to be fought on head on and so what happened was that Osama bin Laden set up actually a f sort of infrastructure, you know, where he gathered, you know, funding. Um, he built the army, the Muhajadeen, um, and then more minor things like collecting, you know, goods and supplies to bring over there in order to go fight. And from the stories that my mother tells me, he was very admired in Saudi Arabia for um, setting up all of this and going ahead and actually going to defend, you know, their brothers in, um, in Afghanistan. So that was kind of the birth of when Osama bin Laden, who was this very pious, devout Muslim, then became a leader in the sense that he was going to be this fighter for uh, their ideology. And um, you can see, you know, throughout the 80s that they went, they fought in Afghanistan, and then he created MAC, which was the precursor to um, Al Qaeda, if I'm not mistaken, in 1984, and then it subsequently became um, Al Qaeda, and um, it became their it became their mission to to defend Afghanistan, but then also to expand, expand Islam, because this is what they feel uh, they're called to do. So, uh, Jihadists. so yeah, I mean, they are, they, they're, they're at a whole different level. And that's uh, 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 the, the kafir infidels rejecting of the religion of Muslim that I don't want to accept this religion. It, it's a it's a big insult to them. But the part where I was going with this is can, it, can in I can I interject just one thing, maybe sure. for your viewers, most will maybe know this, but I think people here in the West um, have a limited understanding of what Islam is because of the media and what they're being taught. You know, they, in a very reductive manner, say that Islam is a religion, but it's incomplete to call Islam a religion, which is why I always say it's an ideology, because although there is a religious component to Islam, there are two key additional elements, which is, you know, the military uh, doctrine, as well as the political agenda. And this forms the whole of, um, of the ideology that is Islam. And those who believe, and again, there's a spectrum of Muslims in terms of how they approach Islam and how they apply it, but those who who um, apply a literal, literal, a literal application of Islam are these jihadists, and not only you know jihadists in the physical sense, but you know all those who also aid and abet the jihadists, whether by financial means, whether by infrastructure, you know, back coming back to Europe and the United States, you know, organizations which are fronts for the Muslim Brotherhood, for instance, that base their operations here in order to spread the ideology through more subversive means rather than those horrible, blatant 
attacks that uh, have been happening, you know, in our streets. L so let me ask you, one thing I want to say. that's very helpful to say that. What, from what you know, Al-Qaeda, what year did Al-Qaeda get? Okay, 1988 to present. So, uh, uh, and, and Osama bin Laden, he was born, do you know what year your uncle was born? I'm just curious to know what year he was born. Let me take a look at this. What year this man was born? Because I know your father's older, 1957. Okay, 1957, 1977. Okay, so that'd be 20 years. So in, in, 19, in the mid 70s, Iran, the Middle East was pretty peaceful. There was not a lot of issues going on in the Middle East. And obviously Shah was the one running the Middle East. He was the most powerful man. He had all the contracts back. He took oil back from UK with, uh, you know, the whole thing that was going on. And you know, he was starting to, you know, buy weapon and they were becoming stronger and gradually growing. And he had 3000 political prisoners in that group of political prisoners that he had. He had a lot of the current, uh, not the current, the leaders that ended up starting Al Qaeda. And Jimmy Carter came out with this campaign of human rights, asking him to release the political prisoners. And many of those political prisoners who were released are the ones that ended up going and leaving because they were extremists in his eyes. Some of them were today, which, you know, I don't know if you're familiar with today. Today is the communists back in the days that were coming down from Russia and the whole Karl Marx movement was growing in Iran. And he wanted to put that down, but slow that down. No problem. But then the other part was he had some of these extreme, extreme jihadists, you know, the folks that ended up building Al Qaeda that he knew were problematic. And once he released them. Next thing you know, we know what happened to everything else. And that leads to obviously Al Qaeda getting started in 1988. And then that leads to Al Qaeda, you know, Osama bin Laden, the attack that on 19, you know, 9-11. But I'm asking that question because for me, a lot of times I want to know why you hate. I want to know why a certain sect or why a certain community hates another community. What caused you to get to that point? What happened with that? And uh, there are many different stories in um, in this section on why that happened. Do you have any final thoughts on this before we move on to the next topic? I think it's um, it's interesting that you that you bring up um, Iran and actually I encourage uh, all your viewers to watch your video that you did uh, explaining uh, what's going on in Iran. You know, it's a thirty minute video you did that explains the relationship between the West and and Iran, which was great. Um, many of the things my mother had told me about, you know, including the Today Party and the, um, um, how they aided, you know, in Khomeini's return and all of that. And sadly, um, the taking of power by, you know, extremists in Iran in 79, when you look at images, um, maybe your viewers don't know that, but both my grandmothers are actually... Um, Iranian, you know, but when you look at the Middle East, you know, in the 70s, and you see these women in Iran who were liberated, and as you mentioned in the video, you know, they had the right to vote, and they had the right to go to university, they had the right to become judges, and you know, boom, 79 happens, and it's a complete reversal mm -hmm. of, uh, of all this, this progress, um, and the situation of women in uh, in Iran uh, was completely turned upside down, and um, it makes me really sad when I when I follow what's going on in Iran today. And you know, women are being jailed for removing their headscarf, and you know, these are all stories you know that my mother lived as well. Uh, I think you were maybe you were too young um, yourself, but my mother, you know, saw all of this you know you know happen. She was at the heart of it, you know, in the seventies and the early early 80s but um as you say you know people should research all of these things you know all these feminists today in the west think you know there is uh, oppression and inequality and um i i really want to tell them you know go find out about other places in the world and what's happening today you know in places like iran and um and fight for these women you know fight for these women yeah. who don't have a voice who have who are forced and obliged to wear the veil, which I, I, I really don't, uh, I can't stand the veil, you know. And then you have here in the West, you know, Mattel coming out with the veiled Barbie and Nike coming out with Nike, coming out with a um, hijab, with a swoosh. And, and knowing, you know, what's happening in, uh, in the Middle East and, and these women who are being persecuted, it's just, 
things are upside down, Patrick. I agree with yeah. you. I, w- I would I would challenge any journalist who's a firm believer of being a who's a feminist to go to Iran, not for one week to just make a show and show how amazing it is and how much love there is there, but go to Iran and work there for two years and try to advance and see what happens for you. And I'd encourage you to do that to do that and realize that Christian. nowadays a yeah, a 13 year old girl can get married today. Uh, and the 13 year old girl to get married to a 40 year old man or a 30 year old man is a normal thing in Iran. And if you yeah, think Chris, that's Christian, free- um, Christian Amanpour should do what you just said. And, you know, she's busy cozying up with all the, the religious leaders of Iran and at the same time castigating all, all of us Trump supporters um, and comparing us to, to Nazis, comparing um, the president and our movement to Kristallnacht like three, four days ago. I don't know if you saw that clip. Um, she should go and, and uh, if she doesn't like it here in the West, why doesn't she go and live there? It's yeah, so it's, great. And there's a big list of them that I'd love for them to go there. For me, I'm, 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 my biggest thing is I'm here because I support capitalism. I want freedom. I want you to leave me alone. Don't bother me. Let me get to work. If I break uh, 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 the, a law and you want to do something, fine, totally get it. But all the rest of them, leave, leave the creators and everybody else alone and give them a voice versus what's going on right now with censorship. But we'll get to censorship here in a minute. 